Well, do you remember back when you were a kid? Did your parents force you to take music lessons? Mine did. It was piano, and I didn't like it, and I quit mainly because it just wasn't fun. And I always thought maybe if I'd been allowed to pick my instrument, maybe I would have chosen guitar or something different, and that would have had a completely different outcome. Maybe, maybe not. But I do think it has to do with fun and making sure kids are really engaged with whatever it is they want to play and make music with. Well, that leads us to our next story. And it's about a new school. And it's opening at the old Yuck Yucks location. You know the one at West 12th in Canby in Vancouver. Well, CKNW contributor Eric Chapman checked out the school, the school of rock that is, to see what it's going to look like when it opens up in the fall. Take a listen to his report. Something happened over the pandemic. We all got bored. That led us to pursue some hobbies. Some decided to knit. Others decided to take up an instrument. And perhaps it's not going as planned. Mike Granick wanted to get his kids involved in music during the pandemic, and after not seeing many options, he and his professional musician business partner decided to just drop everything and start a school of rock in Vancouver. (laughs) Oh, man! So if you wanted to follow your dreams of playing in a band, it's now possible, no matter the age. It's for everybody. So we've got everything from preschool age all the way to adults, and, uh, you know, we were at the BC Home Show, and we were surprised how many adults actually want to be in uh, these programs, right? Because they're a little bit more, they're more unique than your typical lessons, right? So you're not doing private lessons in a room by yourself with an instructor. I mean, you are, but you're doing that private lessons, but you're also part of a band. So the whole idea is we want everybody to get out there and perform and have fun and be part of the community and, and learn to be a musician together. Okay, I know a lot of people's ears just perk because mine just said, explain what's going on here. So you, you come and you join a band Basically, and you play yeah. the band. Get out of here. That's an awesome concept. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. so can you just run through it? How does it work? Uh, well, I mean, you're doing uh, one-on-one lessons with instructors. Um, so you'll work on different uh, elements uh, with your instructors uh, that you need to work on personally. And then uh, once a week, you're also going to be uh, doing band rehearsals uh, with a band. And we we, um, we kind of match you with the right levels and the right people. And uh, and, and then you basically are just doing uh, uh, music together. Wow. And uh, so the whole idea is to do a song first approach where we're actually teaching the song as opposed to going through rudiments first and then teaching all of the different theory that goes behind the song as opposed to starting you know one one thing that somebody once told me is like well you know um if you want to teach a kid yeah. how to talk um you, you don't tell them that they're not allowed to say any words until they learn the alphabet right right and i was like wow this is genius it's like that's, Ooh, my head's was, exploding exactly yeah, yeah. Like, that's true right i mean we want to pick up the instruments and start playing and have fun and then it's like oh by the way you know that what you're learning there that's a pentatonic scale or that's whatever right it's uh, wow. those are triplets you know so yeah you know yeah. that's really cool that concept is great because i'm dyslexic and when i see sheet music my brain just has a fart and I can't understand it. So that's what always kind of stuck. Like I played trombone as a kid. I played a little bit of drums. I played the tambo and sing back up in a band. And that, and that thing like musical because I've been so afraid of sheet music. Yep. So this concept to me, it, I think you're really opening a lot of doors for a lot of people that might have a fear of music. So that's really cool. Yeah, absolutely. Because you're, you're really going to sit down and just start playing an instrument. Yeah. And uh, it's amazing how well people do when, when you're showing them the actual song and they get to play things that they like. They're not right. playing things that are very structured or traditional. It's like, hey, we're going to play some ACDC. We're going to play this or that, you know, and it's kind of more fun. And yeah. the whole idea is to, to get out there and perform with other people and not just sit in a room by yourself learning to play music. So. Right. And you mentioned too, you can come in and play whatever you want to grab. What if you, is, are there scenarios where like people don't know what they want to play? They just know they want to be in a band. Oh, or yeah. those type of people can approach it and be like, hey, try the drums. Is that kind of the, the, the concept there? How yeah, you yeah. It? Well, it, for, for adults, yeah, we could, we could do something like that. Uh, for kids specifically, we have our Rookies program. And the Rookies program is really designed to let them explore different instruments and really uh, get a feel for what instruments they gravitate towards. And then after that, um, so that's not part of the performance program, but that will then graduate them towards the performance okay. program. They figure out what instrument they like to play. And it's so much better because it's 
instead of forcing it's like you're going to be playing drums and they don't they want to play bass or guitar right. or something like that yeah. you're actually just letting them go out and yeah. and have fun and uh, they get to pick the instrument that they want uh, and then perform with that so. that's so great because you, you know, I, I remember being in band and watching the, the senior band you could tell who didn't want to be there or hated <laughs> yes. their instrument because they'd just be sitting there miserable playing the flute when they and they're looking at the drummer go and they wanted you know that got so that's yeah. just, this yeah. is really interesting so when when are we planning on open we know how these go when, when we're doing construction and things so when's the what are we shooting for for dates well I, we would love to be open tomorrow tomorrow if we yeah. could <laughs> that's not the reality uh so uh we are absolutely hoping that we will be open in the early fall of 2022 okay uh we'd love to be uh september if anybody is listening from the city of vancouver that could help us through the permitting process a little bit faster that would be oh. amazing oh. because we have a lineup of people that would love to start uh you know joining the community and and uh, you know it's great for the local community with arts and everything like that so yeah. um, one thing i will say is we are considering doing a temporary location for summer camps uh, for kids uh, because those are really prob- popular. We had a lot of people ask us about those already and so I'm kind of trying to see if we can find a temporary location for summer, ca- summer camps but uh, you know, if people go to our website they can sign up. Um, it says free trial on there. It's, mm-hmm. it's a free tour of the school but um, if they sign up for that once we have, if we do have summer camps earlier then we'll, we're, uh, we'll reach out to everybody and let everybody know. Right, Kennedy Stewart, it's the kids man. Get the permits through for goodness sakes. We do <laughs> stories on this all the time. Get over it. Let them construct. Okay and what else did I have? Oh yeah and so if we're interested in seeing these performances are, is the public can come to see the performances as oh, yeah. well? Yeah, yeah. These are real live rock shows at real rock venues is, is the whole premise behind this. Like so. the Commodore maybe even? Well, yeah. Uh, so again, if you know anybody at the Commodore... <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Yeah. <laughs> so really, you're here to just hook me up. It's with... Live Nation, actually. So anyone at Live yeah, Nation, right, the yeah. Commodore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, but okay. So, so that's the plan, though. That's the plan, yeah. yeah. The, the the performances will be open to the public as well. Uh, you know, we are going to be looking for venues to be performing at, uh, local festivals, local events, and things like that. So cool. uh, the idea is for the kids to get out there. And, and not like a recital. Not like the typical recital. Yeah, no. it's, it, this is a rock show. It's going to yeah. be fun. It's yeah. really exciting, you know. Cool. Yeah. Now you can go from this... <laughs> Hold on. I'm not hearing it right. To this. Hold on. We got it now. It's all right. With a bunch of other people and have a lot of fun while doing it. And follow your dreams of rocking out like Jack Black. Me, baby. Me. Schoolofrock.com for all the details. Uh, that's baby making music. That's what that is. Uh. All right, thanks to CKNW contributor Eric Chapman for that report. Hopefully, they will get those permits in place and be able to open up the School of Rock sooner rather than later. Again, schoolofrock.com if you want to learn more about what kind of programs they hope to be offering very, very soon.